What's up? LJ here and wanting to talk a little bit about this thing called resistance. Have you noticed it <laughs> as part of life, period? But I'm especially noticing resistance as an interesting entity of its own with things like my creativity and my projects and the things that I realize that I want to do and make and create <laughs> and then the interesting energies that turn out to be resistance that come along the way so I'm loving this idea that we could see it as a chance to just turn pro is the saying from this book that I love called the war of art by Stephen Pressfield but he talks about the pro doesn't wait for inspiration necessarily but shows up as a way of being open and ready for the inspiration and just to do the work and he has one short chapter in his book that talks about a writer being asked well do you wait till you're inspired to write or do you have some other process and the writer replied Yes, I do wait for inspiration, but fortunately inspiration strikes every day at 9 a.m. So this idea that we quote unquote like sit down to do the work no matter what. And how important it is too, I'm noticing, that we actually let ourselves do the creative work that we're seeing we want to do because even though there's this funny weird thing called resistance that seems to come up and even keep us from our projects it also starts to feel really bad when we're not moving forward on these things that we realize we want to do whether it's the tiniest things like straighten up a corner of our house or build a garden in our home or our school or bigger things like start a book or reach out in a relationship or whatever it may be so Here's to finding our ways to move through resistance and move into our projects and our creating. And yeah, I guess I'm fascinated with how we can use our practices of connecting to help with that as a way to be aware of what's happening with us, as a way to shift what's happening for us to tune into ourselves more, to hear those inspired ideas, but also to tune ourselves so that we're in action and working with how we feel, but also being willing to turn pro in a sense and sit to do the work that we've decided we wanna do because it feels better to just do it, it turns out. <laughs> and to just know that resistance may be part of it. And this is me speaking from my heart, what I'm learning and practicing with myself as a creator too. Uh, yeah, but just working with resistance as a truth perhaps, but also as a sign too that maybe we're moving towards something that is important to us and to do it anyways and to move forward and to let ourselves take the action and sure find ways to feel inspired as we take the action but to do do it yeah so here's to enjoying the ride this discovery and awareness and becoming more conscious and loving ourselves through it isn't that part of the challenge part of the journey and part of what we're learning as so important especially in how we can love others how much our ability to love others is affected by our, our ability to love ourselves and how important it seems to be that we get to listen for our creative inclinations and even move forward on them if we have the privilege and the opportunity and the knowing that we want to so I'm here with you in on it and the learning is awesome, even as it can be humbling, right? <laughs> so here's to enjoying the ride. And you know, it's the yoga. Namaste. Mm.